right, guys, the end of day three, Saturday. Saturday at seven o'clock. And this has been a, a long road to get here. I don't want to emphasize what we did on the last time, but with the V1 throttles and just getting this base tune to work, huge amount of effort. And uh, shout out to Raymond, shout out to Tomas. Three of us have been working on this for three days straight, not inclusive of what we did last time, just to dial these guys in and really bring you guys the results that this platform deserves. Uh, I know a lot of people get hate for this platform, but there's a lot of potential here. Really good cylinder heads, really nice block design, just a lot of potential. You know, and we're gonna share results with you uh, very soon, but super excited to be sharing the results that we got. There's gonna be a lot of people that are very surprised by what we've accomplished with this. And the trick to it isn't just runner lane, it's runner shape. And we spent a ton of time modeling and developing a runner shape for other platforms and this one. And it all comes together and we've managed to accomplish power gains in both the bottom end and the top end. But really, really excited to show you this. Really excited to show you guys some videos of it. Looking forward to it. All right, Zach. So we're in between uh, revisions right now. Tell us a little bit more about what we got going on. Yeah, so the base shape is finished. We're gonna do slide updates for V3, which is gonna be our production basically unit. Better surface finishes, couple improvements. From there, we're gonna probably open up this week. I mean, kind of depending on your timeline, we're gonna open up this week like a beta testing for our party mode intake. Okay. For our no filter people. What do you, what do you mean by party <laughs> mode? Yeah, you know, just people that are willing to run no filter and want to have all the sounds and all the performance and you know, it's, I think it's gonna be really popular for people that want to have. You know, a party, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. Who are willing to risk, uh, you know, <laughs> the dangers. <laughs> All right, so how do you want to roll that out with the uh, tuning-wise? Are they going to have to buy a tune to go along with that? Yeah, so it'll be our standard tuning procedure. Um, I don't know how many beta tests we're going to do. Uh, it's going to be maybe a dozen or something we'll roll out. And what the purpose of this is to see software versions and kind of test out how many different software versions we're going to release this on and do a soft launch before we do a hundred of these or something, you know, and, and see how they hold up to miles. You know, the goal is we're going to be looking for people to do a beta test that are like going to put two or 3,000 miles on in the next couple of months and make sure that it lasts and how we like the temperatures and the heat and vibrations uh, to make sure we have a lasting product. So we're going to roll that out. I guess this week we'll have some sort of sign up. I don't know exactly how we're going to do that yet, but we'll have some sort of sign up for the first dozen or so people and we'll release the, the beta test boxes out with tunes. I think we can take the workload of adapting, you know, the time in the software is a lot. So taking that that software and adapting it to new platforms across the world is gonna, is gonna be interesting. There's so many software versions for these, these cars. So there's definitely gonna be a limited spot for us to roll this out and test the product and test the tunes. So I think um, probably maybe Monday, we do a, do a post and release that. Any other questions before we go back to tuning this thing? Now let's get back to it. So this is a direct comparison of Raymond's car. Uh, this is run for run, so no changes. His car is Mills, full exhaust, headers, uh, the headers are a little small. I think we could see more with a little bit of a larger uh, runner header. It's like a one and a half inch header, which is a little undersized for this range. But um, the brown line here is with the N54 intake, we re-ran his car and he's been having some differential noise. So we're beginning to wonder, we did have about a five horsepower loss since the last run. You know, we're wondering if he's starting to get some diff inefficiency there. We're not measuring and calculating engine horsepower here. This is just at the roller. But these are back-to-back -back same time. So what we're looking at is, 254 peak versus 269. So a gain of about 15 horsepower up top. And then down low, peak torque gains looking like 18 foot pounds, kind of in the, the 18 to 20 foot pounds peak. But just average gains on both the high end and the bottom end are, are pretty substantial. With any intake setup, when you're comparing a trumpet to a different intake or two different intakes, there's always gonna be sort of an overlapping range. So you can see right here, this is the, the peak efficiency that N54 intake coincides there's always going to be a point where one intake is generally a little better pretty interesting to see that that's right here at our peak torque range 
uh, which makes sense because we're not flowing as much power with N54 intake. But yeah, there you go. So overall gains down low and up top with the trumpets, which comes down to a more appropriate runner shape, a more appropriate runner model, uh, and a more appropriate runner length. That's how we get both of these.